So having a small camper like the 620 is great until it's hot out and you need to cook. Uh, and then that, that small space becomes kind of a liability. You really can heat up uh, the 620 a lot with cooking. Um, so I've been carrying this, uh, this gigantic uh, Coleman. It's a combination grill uh, and a single burner stove. And uh, I've used the grill like twice, and it takes so long to clean it that I just, I never want to use it again. So I've really only been using the, uh, the single burner. The problem with this stove is that it only takes these little canisters. And uh, I have spent a lot of time and money trying to figure out a way to get the, the RV's propane hookup to uh, connect to this canister. And there is a way, but it ends up being not enough pressure. Uh, I think the regulator on this stove is a little bit different than the regulator in the camper, uh, but I don't know. I, I give up. I don't want to clean this grill anymore anyway. So I found this, uh, this stove. Um, it's available from Home Depot. You can order it online, and uh, it fits in the, uh, in the storage compartment. Now, this big, huge thing I have to carry in the pickup truck, uh, and I don't want to do that anymore. Uh, but this guy will fit right in the storage compartment, and it connects right to the propane of the RV, so I don't have to carry extra tanks anymore. Uh, and it's small, and it's light. Um, I did need to pick up some, some wind blockers, um, and so I'll leave a link to uh, all of this stuff in the comments section down below. Um, but this is a good setup, and I've got a 20-foot of... Uh, hose so I can connect the stove quite a distance from the RV. So uh, this is the Sportsman stove on Home Depot. You'll notice that the uh, reviews are not so great. Um, it's a pretty good stove though. It's definitely cheap. Um, uh, anyway, um, this is the most important part, the connection. Uh, and it turns out that that is a 3 8 female flare. So you need to buy this uh, connection, this quick uh, connect from uh, Home Depot and put it on the back of the stove. Make sure you use some plumber's tape and you get that connection uh, nice and tight. You're also going to need this hose. And, uh, and once you've done all this assembling, uh, make sure you get some soapy water and spray it uh, on the RV's connection uh, and then spray it on the stove's connection and just to see if you get any uh, bubbles, if there are any leaks. So thank you for watching. What are your solutions for uh, cooking outdoors at a campground? I wanna hear it. Thanks.